Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to use the new workflow monitor. The workflow monitor helps you to gain insight into the health, status, and the state of your workflow processes. It also helps you to identify the issues in your workflow process so that you can investigate and resolve them quickly. You will also learn how to terminate, suspend, and resume a workflow instance using the workflow monitor. You can access the workflow monitor from the Orchestrator Studio or use the fast path in Enterprise One to access the workflow monitor application. Use the process field to search your workflow process by name. Originator field is for the originator of the workflow. You can define the date range that enables you to search for the workflow processes for a specific time period. You can filter your workflows by the status all, active, completed, suspended, terminated, error, and awaiting. The system will remember your filters and will open in the same view each time you access the workflow monitor. The purpose of this tutorial will use a new workflow process, new part. This is a basic approval workflow to process a request for a new system part from an employee. First, let us view the workflow process in the workflow studio. Note the tasks in the new part workflow process. Now in the workflow monitor application, enter the name of the workflow. The instances tab lists all the available instances of a particular workflow process in the system. It provides the details for key data, originator, status, start time, end time, and duration. Select the specific instance to view the details of each workflow task. You can see the tasks are identical to what we saw in the workflow studio. You can gain more information about each task from the bar chart. You have a detailed view of task, resource, start time, end time, duration, and the task type below the bar chart of the workflow instance. The metrics tab provides you with a view of the average running time of the workflow process and the average time per task. The average running time bar chart has each status denoted with a specific color. You can hover over the bar chart to view the average time for each status. Similarly, the average time per task bar chart has each task of the workflow process denoted with a specific color. You can hover over the bar chart to view the average time taken for each task to complete. The workflow monitor can help you identify and troubleshoot any processes that aren't working smoothly. For example, we can see that some of these instances of the new part workflow have ended in error. By expanding the details of a failed instance, we can see that the start, approve, and update steps all succeeded, but the final approved step failed. Going back to the workflow process in the Orchestrator Studio, we now know where to begin our investigation to troubleshoot the issue. Let us now see how we can suspend, resume, and terminate a workflow process instance from the workflow monitor. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use an active workflow. Since it is in active status, we can see the options to terminate and suspend it. The workflow instance is now suspended. Use the suspended filter to locate the workflow. The workflow instance now has the options to terminate and resume it. The workflow instance is now resumed. Use the active filter to locate the workflow. You can terminate the workflow using the terminate option. For more information on workflows and workflow monitor, access the business process and workflows page on learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.